I'm not I'm not one of these mainstream people that's gonna be like, Orale, Biden, Orale, Biden for la rave, hey, Latinos for Biden. I can't. I can't, I'm sorry. And if you wanna be mad at me for that, you're more than welcome to. But I'm that's not me. I, I'm that's not me. I can't be Orale, hey, Latinos for Biden. Sorry, and no offense if you're a Latino for Biden. No offense if you're a big Biden fan or a Kamala Harris fan. Uh, we can go. We can go down her record as well. But uh, I'm really just, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, man. Uh, the left, as they say, or the liberal, you know, the liberal side. The, uh, I'm still learning all these terms, y'all. I'm trying to catch up. But you know, you got the the left. I'll just call it that. The Democrats. It's just been a lot of little shady stuff. And, and right now, y'all, it's, it's election time. So these last couple days, both sides are going to be lying on each other. Both sides are going to try to persuade you. Both sides are slinging mud. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of politics. And I really don't fucking like politicians. I can't stand. Okay. What was this clip I just saw about Biden? I went down that rabbit hole. Uh, I don't know who posted it. But it was a, um, it was a whole, oh, I know who it was. Woo! I was high, too. I was high, too. And God damn it. Hey, man. There's a clip where they asked them, uh, how many of y'all's plan includes free health care for illegal immigrants? And like half of the hands went up. Boom. Now, mind you, I'm the son of immigrants. I have a very soft spot in my heart for immigrants. You know, this country was built on immigrants. I love this country. I love this country so much because the shit that I do would not be possible in Venezuela. The shit that I do would not be possible in Cuba. The shit that I do would not be possible in China. The shit that I do would not be possible in a lot of countries. You know, free speech, we can't suppress it. We have to let y'all see all the info and all the evidence and let y'all pick. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can go on and on. Second Amendment. I'm from Texas. You know, I I actually went uh, I actually went on behalf of Beto O'Rourke, who's a Democrat. They invited me when he was campaigning. Uh, I think it was right before he went up against them twenty people against like Andrew Yang and uh, Tulsi Gabbard and all these people <clears throat> and Kamala. She boy Tulsi Gabbard. She went off on Kamala on a debate. But anyway. I actually went on stage and shit and spoke and all this type of stuff because, you know, I ain't know too much. Uh, for Beto O'Rourke, good, great speaker, excellent speaker. I was like, God damn, this man could speak. He went up there and gave a speech. People people were fired up. People were excited. Man, they, he had a crowd. Uh, he had a whole bunch of musicians on the line. Um, Come in there, was there. Bum B was there. A whole bunch of people was, was there. Um you know, but then a little bit after that, he's like, hey, hell, you damn right, we're going to take your guns. And I was like, ooh, he done lost, he's going he's gonna to lose a lot of people with that one. You can't say it like that, Beto. Let's look at some of these comments. Uh, Marte Manzanas says he doubled the prices, prices on visa applications. He's anti-immigration. Uh, you talking about Trump? Uh, he probably is anti-immigration because he's like pro-America. He's probably like America first. And if if we have anybody from the black community tuning in, you probably want less immigrants in terms of jobs, in terms of like job competition, in terms of like uh, low black unemployment. You probably don't want a whole bunch of immigrants competing for your jobs. You know what I'm saying? Again, I have a soft spot for immigrants. I am the son of immigrants. I am Mr. They Can't Deport Us All. I literally just dropped a comedy special with that title uh, on Netflix. Uh, we licensed it to them until the year 2020. So it's a free agent and we're going to put it somewhere else. But with that being said, um, Marte Manzanas, you're probably right. He probably is a little anti-immigrant because he wants to worry about Americans. You know, um, I'm an American citizen. I'm not threatened by immigrants, but at the same time, if you got all these Democrats on stage saying we're going to open it up for everybody, we want an open border, we want free health care for all illegal immigrants. And uh, I mean, what's that? What's going to happen? Every everybody. I mean, I know this is the country's founded on, on immigrants, but goddamn, if you open it up for the whole world, who's going to pay 
for all that free health care. What's going to happen when you break a leg and you're trying to wait in line for that social, uh, what is it, socialized medicine? You know what I'm saying? You might have to limp. You feel me? So anyway, my point is, is um, yeah, you could probably consider a lot of these policies anti-immigrant. Why? Because it's pro-American. It's pro-American jobs. It's pro, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Low taxes, um, you know, low unemployment. You know, I like I told you, man, I voted for Obama and, you know, I wanted to be a part of history and I thought it was cool. I mean, I still think it was great that we had, you know, a, a president of color, if you will. I think that's great for the country. Now, what he did and, you know, how many people he deported, uh, how many of them cages they built? Who built the cages, Joe? Uh, I can't really rock with them no more. But the idea of it, they got me. So what the Democrats have been really, really good at doing is they've really convinced Latinos that they're the nice, empathetic. They care about the down, downtrodden. They care about the immigrant. They care about the poor. They care about the brown, the, the diverse, the multicultural. And they, they painted the Republicans. And I ain't gonna lie, up until Donald Trump, the Republicans were very, just very... Um, homogenous and just very vanilla, if you will. And I don't mean that in terms of like skin color, but it just, they had no flavor. You feel me? It was very like Mitt Romney. Orale, Biden, orale, raza for Biden, orale, hey, check it out. Hey, orale, hey, hey, we're going door to door, Holmes. Hey, you voted yet or what, cuz? Hey, Biden, fool, he's gonna fucking, he's gonna have mariachis and shit, fool. Y'all, you wanna come, dog? Hey, he's, he's sleepy, pero sabes que, wey? I must have like cop Miller two ways. So if you have warrants, don't come, fool. She's gonna lock you up, huh? I, 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 I'm not gonna say I was very committed. Obviously, I didn't really know too much, but I knew what I cared about. I knew that I cared about, like, hey, man, my parents are immigrants, and you know, I don't want nobody being mean, and you know, we want some empathy, and we want a motherfucker that cares and shit. But we also want, I mean, shit. I mean. You can also show you care by jobs, <laughs> stock market, you know what I'm saying? Low taxes, motherfucking freedom of speech, motherfucking uh, constitution, motherfucking right to bear arms. You feel me? Come on, I see somebody took a screenshot. And when you start seeing all that, I know Trump tweets crazy shit, but I also know that the economy was great right before the lockdown. And I also know that the lockdowns and the COVID weren't his fault. He didn't cause that shit. When you take that pill and you be like, wait a minute, Hunter Biden was on crack going around collecting money. You wrote the crack laws. You kicked it with segregation is you signed, you backed the segregation bill. You were against integration. Wait, you went to the KKK dude's funeral and talking about that's my hero, my mentor, and you kicked it with all them, and you came up in politics, and you've been in politics for 47 years, but you really ain't did shit. You were just in the office three years ago, and all of a sudden you're going to fix everything. I'm starting to think you full of shit. I'm starting to think that you're just using fear. They both use fear. I'm starting to think that you're just using fear and, and, and promoting this dark, what do they call it, dark winter. If you want the chaos to end... Vote for Joe and Kamala. And I'm really not thinking that if, that if Biden wins, I don't think he's going to really be the president. I think he's going to be like, all right, y'all, appreciate you. Kamala, what's up? You good? You got it? Bet. All right, y'all. Which candidate? I, I say take the Rasa thing out of it. For example, if I was going to be a Biden supporter, I would just be a Biden supporter. I wouldn't be a orderly. Rasa for Biden. Orale, Latinos for Biden. He cares, eh? No. And if I was going to be a Trump supporter, I'm not going to be a Latinos for Trump. I mean, no offense. That's cool. I think people are just being proud. They're just saying like, hey, we're Latin and we fucking like this motherfucker. I get it. That's just me. Uh, so what I would advise is, you know, it, see what see what matters to you, man. Like, if you care about Second Amendment, if you care about like freedom of speech, and if you care about like corruption and, or, or jobs and economy and, and stock market and um, not getting punked by other countries with these bullshit agreements like um, the, you know the Paris Climate Accord where we were getting fucked 
where everybody else gets to pollute. But we, we got overregulated and it was just killing jobs. And it was like, I put it to you like this. If you're for keeping jobs in America, man, it's a clear choice, cuz. If you're about America first and keeping jobs in America, boy, you better get your Trump sign. It's like, man, they, they called Kanye crazy. People going in on Lil Wayne. They'll call you a sellout. It's like, bro, it's two political parties. They both old. They both white. The fuck? All, you know, that's the shit that cracks me up. We're like, orale, chingo, you fucking sold out on your raza, eh? Typical. Typical Tejanos, eh? Fucking coconut. What? Shit, man, my bad. Is Kamala from fucking Michoacan or some shit? Man? Did I miss some shit? How did the Democrats just get a monopoly? Like, you're not allowed to walk off the plantation. You're not, like... Pobrecito Kanye, no hombre, they, boy, no lo bajaron de loco, güey. They were just like, uh, the minute, the minute Kanye was like, I'm running. Uh, he's just going to take away votes from uh, Biden. Those are Biden's votes, Kanye. Kanye, those are, those votes belong to Biden. Kanye. They basically assumed that only black people would vote for Kanye. That's basically what they were telling him. And then when 50 Cent was like, you know, 50 Cent's a troll. So I kind of didn't even know if he was serious. 50 Cent, I know, know y'all saw it. He posted the little meme, and it showed um, different states. It said California, New York, New Jersey, and something else. And when you put Biden's tax plan with the state taxes of those particular states, it made it crazy for people, like 60-something percent taxes. That's why everybody's leaving California and coming to Texas. But don't bring that bullshit over here. Like I said, I'm going to let my nuts hang. I'm, I've never been a pushover. I've never been a mainstream media darling. I've never, you know what I'm saying? I've never been like one to just, you know, you know, I've always been outspoken. I've always been rebellious. I've never just gone with the crowd. And I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, I'm going to just be, uh, what's the word, uh, contrarian. I'm, oh, everybody like, oh, Eva Longoria and everybody talking about go Biden. Okay, well, fuck it then. I'm going to be go Trump. No, that's not what this is about. I already explained to y'all. Even while the impeachment was happening, I was like, damn, man, what the fuck Trump do now? Are we, you know, we finally going to get him out. Like, I literally wrote a four-page open letter, dear Donald Trump looking ass. You know, I made, man, I made koozies, fuck Donald Trump. I made t-shirts. There's pictures of me on the internet wearing fuck Donald Trump t-shirt. But then I started to peep game. Once I started seeing them hoaxes and shit, like, damn, he didn't really say that. And then I start peeping, like, damn, why, why Biden? Out of y'all had twenty, look at how much support Bernie had. I mean, uh, Mayor Pete, uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Joaquin Castro, you had Tulsi Gabbard, Andrew Yang was, you know, he's young. He sounded like he had cool ideas and solutions. He was saying police need to um. Uh, learn they need to be blue belts in jujitsu you know what i'm saying so they don't just go for the gun right away and this and that and i'm like damn this dude got some ideas but you know politics man career politicians the swamp and the way the democratic party these are career politicians and dc all the jobs are government jobs so they did what they had to do they were like hey man look this is the play cnn likes uh cnn cnn likes kamala we got to make sure she's on there. Plus, we got to make sure people don't think Joe's racist. So we're going to put a black female because, we, you know, because Trump got uh, a white boy for his VP. So we're going to have a black female. We're going to put Timberlands on her. Uh, we're going to come out to Despacito. We're going to put on sombreros. Call them, call them mariachis. Call, call them mariachis. Get, get a whole bunch of uh, Latino um, motherfucking actors in Hollywood, Latino influence, everybody. Despacito, all of, come on, Maria, all of them. But have y'all not seen the difference in the support? Like, have y'all not, like, real shit, I want to see in the comments. Have y'all not noticed that on the Trump side, people are fired up? I believe that he's persuasive. I believe he branded himself well with the flag. Um, I, I believe that because of the way he talks and he's like, look at this guy, typical politician. I'm going to talk to y'all like this. And when he does his rallies, it's like stand-up comedy. He's, he's talking shit. 
he, he brought out that big ass screen. He said, you know what? I'm going to let Joe tell you. Play the tape. And Joe's like, China is a beautiful, you know, China, we, we need China to grow and China this and, and, and it, it, China didn't eat our lunch. We need to support China because the better China does, the better we do. And China didn't. I'm like, God damn, Joe, who are you running for? I, 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 you know, my champurrado show like, hold the fuck up, Joe. Fuck you mean? God damn. You just going to let them play that whole compilation and you just, oh my goodness gracious. Well, the reasons Trump says he's done more for the African-American community is this. From the time he was campaigning, I really wasn't paying attention. He turned me off in the beginning because me encandilaron con el pinche Mexican rapist. Ooh, that shit. What, bitch? You call Bitch, you said we rapists. So I just tuned the fuck out. I was so upset. The night that they announced that he won and beat Hillary, I was just like, well, I don't like Hillary either, but God damn. I was like, babe, turn it off. Let's just go to bed because I don't, I mean, I I can't move. I mean, I tour all over America. What the fuck? We got a fucking reality TV star running the country. Um. So this is what he said. He told black people this. You've been voting Democrat for decades. They've done nothing for you. What do you have to lose? <laughs> Ooh! And then the, uh, the HBCUs, the historically black college and universities. I live right by one, TSU uh, University. I'm like, I could throw a rock and hit TSU. Um, the HBCU people went up to the White House and said, hey, Mr. Trump, we'd like some more funding for our, our black colleges and universities and they asked for i don't know how much and he's like why so little they're like well we're gonna come back next year and ask for more and he's like why why can't i just cut the check a big check you ain't gotta be coming back every year they're like well with obama they made us keep coming back and keep asking he's like no no, no. Uh -uh. here you go so he was showing with his actions and then he had record low black unemployment uh black unemployment had never been as low as it was up until COVID, right? Because COVID changed everything. Um, what else? Uh, he's got the platinum plan going uh, that they're talking about putting it out. I haven't read it. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what's on it. A lot of Latinos are conservative and don't even know it. Conservative values, Google it. Uh, you're going to have things like, you know, strong family values, faith, religion, um, you know, don't go sp spending all your money on bullshit. Don't, don't, Put all the money in the hands of the government and expect the government to come down and fix all your problems. No, you know how we fix our problems? We turn a motherfucking school bus into a fucking restaurant. That's how we solve our problems. A politician ain't never came down and solved my problems. So I had no idea I was conservative. So every time you vote Democrat, you put more and more money into bigger, bigger swamp, bigger government more taxes you're putting more power in the government's hands and you're waiting on them to come down and regulate everything no you know how we fix our problems we get a motherfucking paleta bike shout out to all the hustlers the elote bike elote or die bitch that's how that's how we fix our problems we're conservative and don't even know it we're about family values we're religious we fucking take care of our own problems. We get up and we work. We don't fucking wait for handouts. We don't be complaining. Tell me I'm lying.